We hit 35 million players. What is up, Ferrana brothers and sisters? And let me tell you this, Ferrana dropped their year eight roadmap. I guess they, and they call it their vision with this year eight roadmap. And they are so good at putting in these little teases that if you pay attention, you have a good idea of what's coming. It's not giving you everything, but it gives you a little bit. So even when you look at the beginning of the video and they're talking about how they're focused on the weapons. So even when you're looking at that screen, you see right there, you can see Warden, Warlord, Orochi. So you're thinking right away, are these the hero skins we're getting? Because when you look at the roadmap, they're doing two night hero skins. So could we possibly get another Warden hero skin? That would be different. That would be different. And then in title update two, we're getting another night hero skin. So all of season one is gonna be for the knights. Now I'm gonna be jumping around here because they did say they're doing seasonal factions. So seasonal factions starting with the knights, then the samurai, then the vikings, then the outlanders. Yes, Wu Lin, you're out. Nobody cares about you. I do, but they don't. So maybe year nine will be the year of the Wu Lin, but we know it's not. So let's not kid ourselves. So moving on. So back to this. Orochi, we think that's gonna be the hero skin. At least that's what I think. The hero skin is gonna be Orochi. And then when you look for the Vikings is coming in September, that's obviously gonna be Warlord. So will we get the Goodmunder? I, I don't know, that, that doesn't really look like Goodmunder in that, in that picture. So I'm not thinking that's Goodmunder. But what about the Knights? What are you guys' best ideas on what this Knight one is, you know? And then when we talk about the Samurai hero. So for the Samurai hero, Andrew even reveals the gender of the samurai hero. Check it out. And she will, can I say she? Now for those that are all opposed to gender lock, we're just gonna have to get over that. It is what it is. If it's a female, just like Barangi and Guard, it's a female. You know, it is what it is. I don't really care. I'm not hung up on that. You know, I would like that they wouldn't be gender lock, but we know it could be money, it could be a big problem and the reason why they do what they do. But either way, I'm not gonna make a big deal about it because it's not a big deal to me. I'm just happy we're gonna get a new hero. I was hoping for a Nobu hero skin, but it does look like it's going to be Orochi. But then you think about the Wu Lin and what type of Outlander hero will we get in December? And which is probably gonna be January. We're talking about title update two, so it's gonna be in February timeframe, late January timeframe when we get that hero. Just like when we just got the Varangi and Gar. But there's still plenty to discuss. What do you think of the seasonal factions? Do you like this, this move that they're doing here? Focus on a knight story for the first season, focus on a samurai story. So maybe we're moving towards something being done with the faction war down the road. I hope so. But if not, I still think this is kind of a cool move. You cool move. You're focused on all the different factions, at least who they deem important, and that's not the Wulin. They also talked about the converted maps. So the converted maps, it looks like it's definitely going to be cathedral. If you saw my previous video and I'll try to put a link to it up top, you know, that was definitely one of the ones I figured that would be coming and that was going to be one of the options. I thought it was going to be Canyon, but it wasn't Canyon. It looks like it is cathedral because they give you that sneak peek and kind of tell you, ah, oh, there it is. They're talking about converted maps. They're showing cathedral. It's going to be cathedral. So we'll get cathedral as the converted map coming up. And I, it looks like it's gonna be in title update two when we're going to get that. One thing that's interesting about title update two, it says unique throwback. What do they mean by that? When they say unique throwback, could this be an opportunity that we actually get a Dead by Daylight, a Prince of Persia, one of those crossover throwback events? I hope that's what they're talking about when they're talking about unique throwback events but what do you guys let me know what you guys think you what is unique throwback event mean to you i'm probably just wishing upon a star, I'm wishing on a star. but that's what i'm hoping for but i'm excited i'm fired up for the year eight i like the hero skin season one knight season two samurai season three vikings season four Wu Lin. i'm a fan of of course i love the samurai anyway especially as a nobu main I'm happy that we're gonna get another samurai hero coming our way, as well as an Outlander hero. I'm good with that. I thought it would be at least one Wu Lin, but Outlander, okay, okay. So Wu Lin's pushed to year nine, hopefully. I think they'll flesh out a lot of this when they have the Warriors Den on Thursday. So definitely gonna be tuning into that. 
and I will definitely be doing a video about that warrior's den to see if any of this information that I'm talking about now they provide some more clarity on. But that's all I have for this one. This was just a quick one just to talk about that vision. What do you guys think of the vision? Do you like what you saw? Are you happy that the Wu Lin was treated like a redheaded stepchild? Do you even care? Do you even care? You're just waiting for what they actually say in the Warriors Den. Maybe you didn't even watch it. If you haven't, go check it out. I'll put a link in, in the description. I think it's worth checking out, y'all. But lots of teasers, lots of little things in there. Oh, one thing I want to touch on real quick before I'm out. The weapons. Did you notice the weapons in the background? The weapons in the background pretty much tell us what the hero skins are probably, right? Because you got Warden in the front, then you look behind Warden, and who do you see? You see Zhang Jun. So you see Zhang Jun's weapon, and he said the focus is on the weapons. So that's going to be the hero skin for the Wu Lin that we get in December? I think so. Then you have Shigoki's. So is that going to be the hero skin? And I know I mentioned Orochi could be the hero skin, but maybe that's a new hero. Maybe that's not Orochi, but I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's not Orochi. Maybe that's the new hero. And maybe that warlord looking guy over there is the new Outlander hero. But who knows? So we, we'll find out when we find out, right? I'm just excited, man. I'm just excited. But then the reason why I'm saying the focus on the weapons in the back also is because when you look at them, it kind of lines up with the hero skins because you do have a Wu Lin, you do have the Samurai, you have Raiders, and then you have Griffin. And that kind of aligns with the hero skins. But then when you have the Warden in the front, it makes you wonder, okay, is it still aligned or not? Because then you have Orochi, I'm saying Orochi, and then you have the Warlord that's over to the right. So you guys can help me out. What do you guys think? Are the reflection in the weapons a reflection of the new hero? Or you think that's a reflection of the hero skins? Are the weapons in the back a reflection of the new hero skins? And then the what you see in the front are reflections of the new heroes? I mean, what do you guys think? Love to hear your opinion on this. Love to keep the conversation on Ferrana going forward. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. And check out that Warriors Den, y'all. Peace.